morning. It's day five of my great ocean walk. It's just about 10 in the morning and I still haven't left um, Ryan's den. I'm about to leave now. Um, two reasons I'm a little bit slow, or well, three. First is I'm lazy. But um, second is there's been a few showers passing through this morning, nothing too drastic. But um, it's looking better now. And the third reason is um, I want to head, I want to get down to Wreck Beach this afternoon. Just, it's about an oh, hour, hour and a half before camp. Um, and I need low tide-ish. And low tide is at about, um, well, real low tide's at about seven o'clock tonight, but obviously by about four o'clock, it'll probably be okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm kind of taking my time so I can get there rather than duck down tomorrow. Because tomorrow morning, I'd have to probably, if I didn't get down there on the way in there, I'd have to go to camp and then leave camp tonight as a dose, like a side trip to get down there. Um, I'd rather visit it on the way in. All right, um, enough of this boring stuff. Let's get walking, hey? Looks like it's going to be a stunning day again. A bit of, bit of misty rain every now and then, but it, that adds to it a little bit sometimes, I think. All right, take it easy. Okay, I'm on my way eventually. So this section from Ryan's Den to Devil's Kitchen is meant to be the hardest section of the Great Ocean Walk from what I've read. Um, there's a fair bit of up and down. It got a little bit tougher yesterday after Melanesia. There was a lot of short, sharp up and downs. None of the hills are particularly huge, but they are steep. So we'll see what today has in store. I'll be happy if this uh, if the blue sky continues, but I think I'll get a bit of misty rain every now and then. It's not that cold though. I mean, we're talking, I'm walking in just a shirt. So it's probably around 16 degrees, I guess. So I'm basically tracking along the cliffs this morning so far. Um, with views through the trees of the ocean. And yeah, it's been a bit up and down. So that knob over there is the look out at Ryan's Den. I've reached this, um, <clears throat> looks like it's old reclaimed farmland. I think I'm behind Point Reginald at the moment. So that point down there, yeah. that's uh, Ryan's Den Camp. And that's uh, Lion's, Lionhead headland behind it. And way, way over there, in the distance, if it comes up, is Cape Otway, where I was a couple of days ago. Very nice. Well, that's pretty wild. You can just see the tops of the shelter over at Ryan's Den, that second ridge across. I don't know if it'll come up shining on the video. Those sea caves would be awesome. So I'll get into them now, I think. Mm -hmm. 
So the views are filtered through the trees this morning for a lot of it, but they're still pretty good. Always with that constant surf crashing into the cliffs below you. There's a remarkably intact bridge, still got the chicken wire on it from an old alignment of the track. There's a little bit of water trickling down. All right, this means time to start climbing again, I guess. That is the mini apostle. Yeah, rain's back. See how long it takes to clear, eh? Broken out in some, yeah, just some cleared land now. Walkers follow fence for a while. Back on the high sun. Um, I suppose a notable thing about this is it's fairly flat. It's the first time it's been flat all day. There's a house down there. What a view. I was talking to the ranger about this last night. They're actually, um, I was saying... We were talking Cape to Cape and walking in WA versus uh, walking in Victoria. And I was saying, from what I saw on the bib and the Cape to Cape, they've almost given up on um, on um, dieback. All the cleaning stations were decrepit and how it was nice to be back in Victoria. I was in the Brisbane Ranges the other week and now here. And they've all got detergent in and, and brushes that work. And I was saying that um, it must be pain the ass to replace this detergent every every week they'd have to come back in here and he was telling me about this one so now rather than have someone have to come in and put the, the disinfectant in here they've got a tank full of it and they just drain it into it with a float valve and they just drain it into here so it doesn't run out so that's a good move got to look after our ferns and our grass trees that's for sure. Well, good news on the rain front. It's stopped for a while. I think I'm just slowly making my way back to the coast now after getting around that private property. So I've just um, stashed my pack. I'm at the... I think it's the Gables car park. I'm going up to the Moon Whitehead Cemetery, which is a bit of a side trip up the hill. Thought I'd check it out, I've got plenty of time. I'm kind of wait for the tide to go down a bit anyway. So this is the um, Moon Whitehead Cemetery. I've just wandered up the road, oh, 400 meters, 500 meters. A bit of a look around. Thank you. 
So there's some um, recent graves here, but there's also unmarked graves. There's at least three infants were buried here back in the pioneering days. Their graves are unmarked, so it's probably not a place to go wandering around. Fiji shipwreck. We're going to go down to the, we're going to drop down to the Fiji shipwreck anchor um, soon. So he's, this guy's an unsung, unsung hero of the pioneer of the district, an unsung hero of the shipwreck Fiji. I grab my pack. I'm just uh, now on another side trip out to a place called the Gables Lookout. Um, I've had a change of plans. I've just talked to a ranger. He reckons take my pack down to Wreck Beach, walk the beach and climb out the other end. He says it should be fine. So we'll check that out. He's the ranger that's putting in those um, dieback, um, automated dieback kind of stations where it automatically tops up the fluid, the detergent level, or the, I suppose it's detergent in the, um, in the foot kind of baths. Um, apparently, they've got bugger all budget, so he's making up his own by buying parts from the local agricultural store in Warrnambool. So there's a bit of inge ingenuity for you. It's a sad state of affairs at Victorian Park, so considering the things that do get subsidised, you reckon we could look after our parks a little bit, give them some budget, but anyway, I'll get off my soapbox. Have a look at this place. So this is the Gables Lookout. Well worth a visit. It's about 100 metres off the track. Back on the track, heading towards Wreck Beach now. We'll see how I go when I get down there, whether I can traverse it or not. Okay, this was where I was originally going to stash my pack into a side trip down to Wreck Beach. But the ranger seems to think I should get along those rock shelves all right be able to scramble out the other end with my pack so I'm going to carry the pack down um, so that's obviously the inland track up there and this is where I'm going down here apparently there's 350 steps between me and the coast though so let's see how we go it'll be interesting you know, I can see beach down there Interesting how I go when I get down there. Okay, I'm down on Wreck Beach. I've just wandered down the, the eastern end for a bit of a look. I'm about to um, try and get along the base of these cliffs. It looks pretty skinny, but we'll see how we go. This is the 
the anchor from the Marie Gabriel. It was wrecked here in 1869. A little bit further along is the Fiji anchor, which was about 30 years later. So this is the uh, leftover anchor from the shipwreck, the Fiji, which I think was around 1880, 1890. So a little bit later than the Marie Gabriel down on that other point. I'm gonna go and check out the uh, cemetery or the memorial for the Fiji later. I'm going to find my track up out of this beach now. So that is the Devil's Kitchen. I'm camping up on top of those cliffs somewhere and I'll be, I guess, looking down over this bay. I believe that might be the toilet. Progress is being made slowly up this hill. This is the last, well, I think, it's fairly much the last climb of the day, this big one. Hasn't been too bad so far though. like that, I'm up at Devil's Kitchen. I'm contemplating camping here. I actually think I might drop off the ridge a bit. So this is the view from the long drop. The devil's kitchen. Not bad. Incidentally, this is the place to go for a cell service too at the campsite. So another typical shelter with two tanks. Um, there's a sh two tanks up at the toilet as well, I think. There's all sights through here. I'm on this one up the top here. Seems to be with the amount of graffiti in the shelter and the amount of toilet paper scattered around this place. This looks like it's a, I don't know, more of a well-used spot maybe. I haven't noticed it, like graffiti and well, there's toilet paper in the bushes over there and I haven't noticed that at any other sites. But anyway, maybe I just haven't looked. All right, I'm going to chuck my pack in the tent and stash it in there, and then I'm going to head off to uh, check out this Fiji memorial. This guy's very mellow. Maybe cold. So this little track is called Rescuers Track. I guess it's where they brought the people when they rescued them from the 
from the shipwreck, the Fiji shipwreck. No, they winched the bodies and the, and the survivors up the cliffs. Don't forget, we're talking 1890s. So, so there you go, 1891. Okay, that's day five of my great ocean walk coming to an end. It's cold tonight, probably the coldest night I've had on the trip so far. Um, I'm at Devil's Kitchen, camp just below the ridge out of the wind. Um, today was probably the second, I reckon yesterday was slightly harder. Today was probably the second hardest day. Um, did about 17 k's, a bit over 17 k's and about 500 and something metres climbing. So that was solid enough. Um, I was here pretty early though. I didn't leave the other camp till about 9.30. I think I got here at about uh, 4, 4.30. Um, so Wreck Beach. So there's two ways in here. You can go via Wreck Beach or you can go via the inland track. So I did Wreck Beach at about middle tide. Um, and yeah, you wouldn't want to be much higher than middle, I reckon. It was lapping at the cliffs, so I had to kind of... It was safe enough, but there was a couple of spots I had to time the waves. If a big wave had to come, I wouldn't have, I would have got wet feet. Um, but wreck beach is really good for the, the two shipwreck anchors down there, so I highly recommend it one way or another. Um, the rest of the walk today was, yeah, winding up and down in up through gullies and up over hills and it was spectacular. I hope the photos and the video do it justice. All right, I've got one more day to go. Tomorrow I'm into um, the visitor centre at um, the 12 Apostles down there. So about 15 k's I think it is. Probably going early tomorrow because um, after I finish this walk I want to walk along the road for 3 k's and visit um, Lockhart Gorge and do a walk there kind of top it off a bit of icing on the cake so yeah we'll see how we go if i can get away i don't know 7 7 30 be good all right catch you in the morning